Okay, so hi guys, it's Allison Marie, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. So, this is actually the second time I've made this video. The first time I did it, I didn't feel like I was going to commit to it, so... Basically, I have to redo it, and I've come to the conclusion that I, I literally have a CC problem. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to completely get rid of all of my mods, literally everything. I actually have a couple different mods installed that were for a video, um, but basically everything is literally going to be going. I literally feel like I, I just kind of did this, but as I said, I didn't stick to the video, but this time it will be sticking to it because you guys have got a problem. So, let me switch scenes. So basically, um, let me, let me pop myself over here. Actually, I'm gonna pop myself down here so I'm still looking the correct direction. But basically, this is my mods, well, this is my Sims 4 folder. And my mods, um, have, are 98 gigabytes now um that is really um excessive and yes i do have wicked wimps installed it was for video and that's the only thing that's literally going to be staying um besides the more cast columns so basically the only ones that are going to be staying are the uh, well really all of m these and my script mods so basically this this folder will be going the rest of this stuff will be staying so because these are like all my script mods and things like that this is only 433 megabytes okay there's 433 megabytes my alpha cc folder which is move myself again which is if you can see at the bottom here 7013 items 7013 items okay babes okay so, <laughs> what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to delete my alpha folder. Um, so, and I'm literally not going to back it up. I'm not going to back it up. I'm not going to do. See, the thing is, if I do all of it, then I'm going to have to redecorate the mods of very helpful. Oh, well. I'm going to be actually is there like um I kind of would like to keep my build CC but the things I don't know exactly what's all build CC because like you see the thing is like this stuff is like build CC like mixed in so and I'm not going to filter through it to kind of do it so we're just going to literally start from basic so the only thing I'll have is like my custom foods and my script basically all my like script mods um, and everything like that so like better exceptions things like that so and my mods folder the whole size of my mods folder currently is 98.5 gigs it was actually over 100 but I already deleted some stuff but here do we go delete my alpha folder oh my god would you like to permanently delete it yes oh my gosh this is going by really quickly oh my god 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 Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm sure my game is so smooth. 433 megs. Okay. So let's load up the game with my little to no mods and see how quick it runs. Like, I'm sure like it'll just literally boot up because I got a good computer. Yeah, it did. It's just on my other screen. Okay. Um, loaded my reshade and everything. Literally just loaded up and everything. So, home button. And then I want this to be far. And then screenshot is going to be print screen. Actually, let's 
it's not because that brings up something else. So what can it be? Maybe S for screenshot. Okay, and then yeah, it goes to my screenshots folder. Perfection. So um you guys literally cannot see what I'm seeing right now. So I'm going to move my screen over here. So you guys can see everything. So this is currently what my game looks like. Is she pretty? <sighs> so we're going to load into a game. We're actually just going to go to a new game real quick and just see the way that the game loads. So, no thanks, I don't want to create a sense of story. Yeah, it looks very pixelated a little bit because I have textures on the, on this reshade that go, that are like way up. So like if I turn the reshade off with that the game actually looks like, like, look how bright it is, it's so fabulous. So I actually have a sim in my library that I'm actually going to be using. You babes, come on. So this is my sim, Ember Copeland. Um, I made her three years ago, I think. I think I made her in 2020. Um, but she was like one of the first sims I made with absolutely no custom content at all and the thing is at the time i had way fewer uh mods and uh, not way fewer mods way fewer packs and things like that i think i had just gotten roma magic and i really wanted to make a spellcaster so that is why she is a spellcaster oh yeah i realized you can't see that she's a spellcaster see she is a spellcaster i think i'm gonna keep my webcam right there but she is a spellcaster so we're going to load into this and we're going to just see how crispy my game runs. So, now she has $500. Great. Okay, free real estate is now on. So, um, why not pop her in the mansion in Brindleton Bay? Um, I mean, literally, I feel like, you know, if you do, um, just play the game bare bones, it obviously runs a lot quicker. I've always been intrigued by Maxis Match CC, and I think from what I've seen, you can have a lot more of it, um, uh, with it taking up less gigs so like you can have like 10,000 files or whatever and it'll only take up maybe like 30 gigs instead of with alpha if you have 10,000 files it takes up like 100 gigs yeah as you saw i have wicked whims and stuff but that is actually for the next video that i go out after this so which i'll record right after this so um, yeah, I mean, the game honestly runs fabulous. I mean, I got an RTX 2070 Super. It's just, with over 100 gigs of mods, the game's gonna have issues. It's just, I am addicted to custom content. Um, but yeah, I honestly think I'm gonna be switching to Maxis Match. Just basically because it's easier to run. I mean, truthfully, it's it, it it's a lot easier to run. The furniture files are not as huge. I mean, my game. Can I actually turn on? Let me see if I can go to G Shade. And I can turn on. Force load all presets, and then let me load up my FPS. I mean, you can see what the game looks like without this. So look, FPS. It 
Oh, you can hear my cat. <laughs> Truthfully, I thought that there was FP, like you could show your FPS. I think I'm thinking of reshade. Um, I can't see my FPS, but I mean, it's buttery smooth, like buttery smooth. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play just a wee little bit. Oh, yeah, she She's a spook and I have no bottom. So, testing sheets on. Shit testing sheets on. On. Mother load. I mean, you can literally see how freaking bright my reshade preset is. Like, you can literally see how bright my reshade preset is. Like, look at that. Like, <laughs> I have a bright ass reshade preset. So, I mean, my game's running very, very smoothly. I mean, I'll choose choose a different girls enrolled in your university. I mean, I can actually literally play this, and as I said, I don't know how many FPS it's getting. And I, but yeah, I mean, the game's running perfectly fine. I mean, it's running perfect. Um, as I said, I'm actually going to. This is going to be one video where I'm re recording without uh, mods, and then the next video is going to be also recorded without mods. And then I'm going to go on a Maxis Match CC shopping haul. Um, and kind of checking out some different creators, custom content, um, and things like that, considering I always used to use uh, Alpha. So, yeah. So, I mean, now you guys know. No, I'm not going to put two. Thank you. Um, but now you guys know that I have deleted my mods folder. Um, so. I know it's kind of like unexpected because I'm like known as like the CC queen, um, but it had to be done. I literally, my game couldn't load. <laughs> like my game literally couldn't load and I have an RTX 2070 super. So, and I want to get a new computer, but I don't want to be forced to because I have too many gigs of CC. So I think I'm going to stick around the 40, 50 gigs range. Um, so yeah. So, um, anyways guys, if you liked today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ding the notification bell if you liked today's video. And as always, I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.